What is art? What is art? The official definition of art is the expression or application of human creative skill and imagination, typically in a visual form such as painting or sculpture, which produces works to be appreciated primarily for their beauty or emotional power. My definition of art is capturing an experience and expressing one's opinions through visual or auditory mediums. I also believe that the story behind how the artwork was created is just as important and valuable as the artwork itself. My method of art is creating stories using a camera. However, today I'm only going to be talking about modern art. A video camera converts the picture into a television signal. See, I have a bone to pick with certain kinds of modern art and the attention it gets. Modern artists are responsible for some of the greatest pieces, and some of these great people include Andy Warhol, Giorgio O'Keefe, Claude Monet, Vincent van Gogh, Pablo Picasso. To me, these artists show immense talent and style in their pieces, and each person instantly earns my respect. How do they earn my respect? They do this by passing Peter's talent test. To pass this test, one's artwork must make me think this when I see it. I can't do that. Still confused? Let's view a few examples. This is Cloud Monet's poppy field. I can't do that. Giorgio O'Keefe's from the far away. Definitely can't do that. Vincent Van Gogh's The Starry Night. Sure can't do that. Andy Warhol's Campbell Soup. I can't do that. Pablo Picasso's the Weeping Woman. I cannot do that. Now don't get me wrong. In no way am I trying to be negative or depress my ability to create art. However, no matter how much I try, I will never be able to create the final product that these artists can. The difference between me and them is their ability to create art that even strangers would find impressive with no prior knowledge to who the artist was, the sentimental value, and the time and effort put into the piece. The following pieces I'm about to show are the kind of modern art that makes me angry because when I see them, I think, I can do this. What baffles me about this art is how simple it is. When I was a first grader, I pretty much made Scython this piece when I was bored on an airplane. And where did it end up? In the hands of a jet blue flight attendant who quickly threw it away as well as my empty wrapper of finished peanuts. Well, she marveled at my beautiful art piece? No because I could have sneezed and produced a similar looking result. Why is it that this was sold for $69.6 .6 million? Christopher Wool's Riot sold for $29.9 million. Mark Rothko created another astonishing picture, orange, red, yellow, which sold for $86.9 million. Barnett Newman's Ornament V sold for $43.8 million. His other piece, Black Fire One, sold for $84.2 million. The one that puts all the others to shame is Anna's Light, which sold for $105.7 million. My question is, what makes these paintings so special? Because essentially, when I was a fourth grader, I could have made any of these, as well as the majority of my classmates. Why do they get sold for $80 million, but ours get put on refrigerators or thrown in the trash? I think it really comes down to one's opinion on these questions. Can one put a price tag on art? And if so, should the cost be affected by the amount of hours put into the piece, or because the artist has a respectable name? Or should it be based on the quality of the work? Thank you.